Another type of effect you can use are video effects or what we used to call filters. If I go into the video effects category here, these are ways that you can modify the visual appearance of your clip. So there's a whole lot of interesting things you can do in terms of lighting effects or color correction. And uh, we'll just go to some of the really simple ones so you can see how they work. Let's take a, something nice and simple like a Gaussian blur. I'm going to grab and drag that filter from the effects tab over here onto a clip in my timeline. And then you see that that uh, clip gets the effect there. But you'll notice that when I added the effect, the viewer up here automatically uh, updated to show me the effects controls tab and this effects controls tab is always there and uh, again we this is how we'll do motion effects and opacity changes and all sorts of other cool things that we can do but uh, in this case it it opened right away to show me the Gaussian blur settings and I can see that currently the blurriness is set to zero as I increase that you see the image update automatically you see the amount of blur added over here in the program monitor and we can choose a couple different options there. We can lower that. And this is essentially the idea of how you would apply a filter. Let's go ahead and add a second filter here. Let's see, there's some fun ones in the distort category, magnify, spherize, twirl, but uh, let's do something that's gonna be really nice and clear here. Like the perspective category, let's add a bevel edges to that same clip there. I'm going to drag that on, and you see now the clip gets a little bevel. I get controls over here in the Effects Controls tab for my bevel. Let's just increase that just a little bit. I'll like, you know, just make, make that to 2. And now we have this nice bevel effect. But I want to point out a really important detail, which is that you notice that right now the blurred image is being beveled. And you can see the sharp edges of the bevel. And that's because the bevel effect is being applied after the blur. If I rearrange these, I drag that up above the blur, you see what happens is now the bevel is applied first and the blur is applied second. And so now the bevel effect is still there, but the effect itself has been blurred. So the order in which you apply these effects is very important. And of course, you can change it after the fact, so it's not like you're stuck with it when, once you apply it. But it is an important element to think about how you integrate all the different possible effects and there are so many really interesting, fun effects that you can apply, brush strokes and mosaics and replications and all sorts of really cool effects that you can do. And uh, you'll experiment with those. And again, like everything else, I'll be covering it in a lot more detail later in the course on effects and color correction.